Storage solutions firm Hitachi Data Systems has opened its Kenyan office. The new office will run HDS operations in the region and work with partners and customers. Well, for more, we are joined by Steve Murphy, who is the Vice President for Emerging Markets at Hitachi Data System. Steve, thank you so much for making the time to chat to us. I think the first question we all want to know is, you know, what challenge or what need in the market is Hitachi Data Systems responding to? Well, it's a little pleasure to be here, first of all. It's always lovely to come to Kenya. Um, so the, the demand that's going on out there is there's a real revolution going on in IT at the moment. There's an explosion of data going around, and, um, and, and everybody's trying to work out how to deal with that, that data, how to make it relevant to organisations, and how to make it relevant to the staff and to, to the population as well. Understanding uh, that you've, you've just moved into Kenya, but you have had a presence in West Africa and Southern Africa, what lessons from the other regions are you hoping to carry through into your Kenyan operations? Well, there's several actually. Um, so we have been in, in Kenya for, for a long time, servicing a lot of our global organizations that have already been here. But right now, because of demand, because of optimism, because of the enthusiasm in the region, we're finding that more and more companies, more and more organisations are moving in to East Africa and in Kenya in particular. You know, Kenya is voted the third best, or Nairobi is voted the third best city in the whole of Africa to work for, and it's obvious to see why. But also, the GDP growth in the region means that many telecom companies are coming here, many banks are coming in here, and the retailers are benefiting from the economic growth as well. Our companies want somebody like Hitachi to be there to support its infrastructure, to help deliver a better class of service to its organisation in a perfectly controlled, managed and fiscally, commercially viable way. Steve, speaking about infrastructure, how much are you going to be investing in Kenya? Well, do you know what? That all depends on the growth, actually, and we're seeing great growth in the region. Um, we have, we've been solid in South Africa for many, many years, and, and we've got a good balance of the right commercial um, coverage in terms of sales, pre-sales and consultants to make sure that we are delivering leading edge and world-class performance to our customers. Um, so we know the method, you know, the right kind of mix of people. I think the important thing is, though, and the real question is, is where are we going to get that staff from? Our role and our aim as a global organisation is to invest regionally. So we want to have Kenyans here supporting Kenya. We want to make sure that the next generation of graduates who come out of the great universities here stay in Kenya and don't disappear into mainland Europe or the US. Because Kenya needs not just great telecoms infrastructure and roads and things, it also needs great people here. And what we're going to try and do is make sure that we're investing here locally in the right people for the right, for the right organisation as well. Steve, uh, right here in Africa and parts of Africa when it comes to data and its reliability, that tends to be quite a problem in terms of you know, whether, it, whether you can question it and whether it is uh, reliable. Are you going to be playing a part in ensuring that we can start to trust the data that comes out of African countries? Without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, intellectual property is not is not um, geared towards any kind of region really. It's all about the investment we put into the staff. So, so what we try and do, and, and in many many countries around the world, Itachi has voted the very best company company to work for. One is we cr we create a very ethical and moral company. We never do business the wrong way. We always try and do business the right way. Um, we also look after our staff as well. Now we make sure that we provide as best of our ability, safe and environment, safe and environments to, to work for. But we also spend an awful lot of money in research and development and education to our staff as well. And that's exactly what we're going to do here too. We're not just going to fly people in from around the world and, and you know, service our customers and fly back out. We're going to make sure that the staff that we have here, including all of our partners, so we're going to create a great social network roundabout Atachi here in Kenya as our HQ for, Eastern, uh, for East Africa. And uh, we're going to make sure that, that, we're, that we're educating everybody else around about it as well. Sustaining the knowledge in the region, sustaining the, the investment in the region to keep the Kenyan shillings here. Very quickly, Steve, before we let you go, what's next on the radar in terms of uh, expanding your footprint on the continent? I'm, I'm sorry, can you see that once more? Uh, what's next on the radar in terms of expanding your footprint on the continent? I see. Um, well, 
we will, we will expand from within the three regions. Um, we don't really see us having to go outside the three regions. So we've got a South African region, head, HQs based out of Johannesburg. We've got a West African region, which we've invested in heavily over the last two years. And um, that's uh, um, HQ'd out of um, uh, Ni um, Nigeria, Lagos. And, and this is going to be your region for expansion into East Africa as well. We, we treat North Africa separately because of the, the language um, um, uh, challenges there. But so, so for, for the rest of the continent, it's our three main hubs, and we will put offices into Ghana and Tanzania and everywhere else that, that the demand um, uh, requires us to. You know, we're part of a $100, million, um, uh, $100 billion organization, I should say. We employ 6,000 people globally. So when we do it, we do it right. You know, I want to make sure that we come on your television for all of the right reasons, you know, to get, you know, because of economic growth, for delivering great service, for helping our customers save money and go to new markets. We want to make sure that we do the right thing here. And, and we'll be using Kenya as our, as our hub for, uh, as our HQ hub for East, East Africa.